In the second hype template video, and even in the first hero video, one of the topics discussed was making a hype project dynamic. But what does that mean exactly? That's where the Groundhog template can help. With the tiniest bit of JavaScript, you can randomize your project. I suppose a good place to start is to explain Groundhog Day. On the morning of the second day in February, a groundhog will emerge from its home. If the day is sunny, then the groundhog can see its shadow. This supposedly scares the groundhog. It turns around and runs back inside. That means six more weeks of winter. But if the day is cloudy, then the groundhog doesn't see its shadow. That means an early spring. I do enjoy watching Staten Island Chuck on TV, as there is a bit of controversy surrounding the New York City groundhog. But isn't this nothing more than a coin toss? It's either cloudy or it isn't. I suppose the odds aren't exactly 50-50, but that's the idea behind the template. It's about flipping a coin. The template is available at photix.com. The link is in the description. Right away, you can see how the timeline affects the animation. The coin spins. This is managed with the main timeline. The coin is centered on the scene and then rotated along the y-axis. This is not exactly 3D, as the coin has no depth, but it's close enough to add a little fun to the template. There's a little trick that makes this work. If you rotate an element along the y-axis, the image will be reversed when it spins around to the other side. To prevent this problem, the background image is changed when it reaches the 90 degree mark. Once the element reaches 270 degrees, the background image is switched back to the original image. That second image is flipped, so when the coin element rotates around to the other side, the image appears to be normal. It's a bit of a design hack, but it works. Once the coin spins a full 360 degrees, the timeline is set back to the beginning. This is linear animation, not dynamic. The coin spins around every two seconds. It will repeat this indefinitely. So, how do you add a bit of randomness to this project? Hype supports multiple timelines. This can be used to mix things up a bit. A button could be added to stop the spinning, or another button could be added to reverse the spinning. Buttons in Hype can play or stop timelines. But again, this is just different levels of linear animation. How do we make it random? First, let's look at those timelines. There are four of them. The main timeline is what plays when the project is first loaded. The flip timeline is played when the coin is flipped. That results in one of two timelines being played, heads or tails. We know how the main timeline starts. This is automatic. Hype always plays the main timeline on startup, unless you stop it. And since the main timeline is on an infinite loop, it won't stop. That's where the flip timeline enters the picture. This timeline is started with the button press, or by pressing the coin itself. Both elements have the same actions. On mouse click, or tap, start the flip timeline. That part is easy. It's why Hype is so appealing. It only took a few button clicks to add interactivity. But to go further, we're going to need some code. So you can look at the flip timeline to see exactly how that happens. The coin element is moved off scene. Once it's fully off the screen, a timeline action is triggered. It pauses the main timeline, which stops the coin from spinning. It also runs the flip function. With the previous looking template and the previous map project, the code is challenging for a beginner. But here, it doesn't get much easier than this. Let's break it down. If means a conditional. If what's in the parentheses is true, then do something. Here, the condition is using the math.random function. This might be a little alien to beginners, so here's how that works. Math.random returns a random number between 0 and 1. To humans, that might not seem like much, but to computers, there's a lot of space here. Just look at all those digits. And to be technical, math.random can return a 0, but not a 1. That's important for the next part. If the value returned is greater than or equal to 0.5, then the condition is true. Otherwise, the condition is false. In other words, a random number from 0 to just before 0.5 is considered tails. A random number from 0.5 to just before 1 is considered true. Nice and fair. This is where Hype's JavaScript API enters the picture. If the condition is true, go to the first frame in the heads timeline. Otherwise, go to the first frame in the tails timeline. When the coin is out of view, its appearance is changed randomly, either heads or tails. Cloudy is heads, sunny is tails. Once the appearance is updated, the coin element falls back down into the scene. That's all there is to it. But if you have questions about this template, you can leave a comment. If you want to learn more, then you might be interested in a book about hype. It's loaded with lots of useful lessons, similar to the one discussed here. 
And if you want to be alerted to when new hype template videos are available, subscribe to Photix TV.